today we're just going to do the uh, install video for an FJ Cruiser. This is the standard head unit here. Not too much going on. Obviously you do have this at the top here which is your reverse camera. Small image comes up on there so we'll uh, get that coming up on like, both things today. So color base here, obviously we've got like, steering wheel controls and the steering wheel here and that's about it. Now this face here does come in the kit. We do only have it in the color it comes in. It is smooth out of plastic so it is possible to paint the our one with just normal plastic paint and it does come out quite nice so some customers do do that I'm just going to cover everything you get uh, in the kit here obviously main unit this is obviously like the only color it comes in it is smooth plastic so it can be painted from this if you do want to paint it you can put it back in it's just up to you some customers like to so do do that um so obviously we do have to it does come with new buttons on it and, and a lot and lights on it because obviously the screen's a lot bigger it has to change on the back of the head unit itself, a 20 pin main a black plug, a GPS, Wi-Fi antenna, auxiliary light plugs, and the antenna plug. That's basically it. Then we look at everything else that comes with the kit. You get your Bluetooth fiber to a scan tool, a circuit board adapter, obviously for your hazard lights, and uh, factory switches that are on there. USB retention cable, aftermarket 1080p color reverse camera, so you can use this one if you want, or you use the cast factory one. Our easy adapter kit, which should plug into all your main ones on your harness and your car's harness. There will be two of these in the kit, so it'll match up what you need on this side. It has a CAN bus uh, module in it, a USB, a lot of plugs, and a microphone, it's in a microphone. It's not on like a six pin one. Auxiliary in, brown one, probably won't be using this. Pre outs, you'll be using, if you're using aftermarket like amp, our reverse camera in. So we'll be using this to get the right reverse uh, camera to come in on this purple cable. And the second one here is just to run a second camera on a GPS antenna. On some models on now, we will also have like a, like a, a long rectangle one, which is like a Wi-Fi antenna. So that's uh, like a, a separate option to have like a Wi-Fi antenna instead of like the built-in one on this model. Um, and we also have a third USB plug, which is on a pink cable. All right, to start, we've just got two Phillips screws under these side trims here. Pop off both of those. Phillips screwdriver, so if you feel under here, you will find them. So you should take those out of both sides. Then what you want to do is you want to grab this trim here on the side, just from the bottom of your finger will actually stick in there. And just give it a pull up. And you'll see the whole trim will just clip off like that. So obviously do that on both sides. It comes off fairly easy. Main part here, just got a couple of screws here you need to do. One, two. Don't worry about getting it muddled up. Just put your hands on each side and just give it a gentle pull. You'll see that whole sort of fascia part will obviously pop off. We have a few plugs in the back here. Just push down and pull out from the top. One, two. Sometimes just need to give them a bit of like a, like a wiggle. And the a third one there. So that's that whole piece off. And you can see what we have in we have one, two, three. They came from all the aircon down the bottom there. Now we've got ten more bolts. So they're all out, and this is obviously just going to pull straight out. And in the back again, you've got the same, and pull them all out. So on this one here, there was four white plugs and an antenna plug. So it's the old head unit out there. And then obviously these are the plugs there. Well, the first thing we do is, is just grab our easy adapter kit here and plug in all the wires that we can. Um, they can only fit in the plugs they fit into, so you can't go too wrong. And you will be left with one left over in this case. It's not being used, which is this one here. You can see. You can also see this wasn't actually plugged in the back of the head unit, but there is an extra eight pin one here. All those plugs in them. Just want to put the main twenty pin plug in, and the only other plug you want to put in is the can get it to reach the um, antenna plug. Now we just do this just to test to make sure we're getting a lot of power. Car comes on, head unit powers up, which is a, a good a good thing. What we are like, testing is that we have like power and we have sound steering wheel controls are working. Um, so what we'll do here is just go like radio. So the radio is working. The steering wheel controls aren't working, but what you can do here is just go to all your apps 
scroll to the end here and you'll see the wheel key study. Just press one on the controller. Um, I press the, uh, sort of the volume up and just like save and exit. This is me just doing it one. And I can see it works. So that's what I wanted to do there. You get to choose your favourite. So that's all good. We're powering up. Um, we've got that working. We've got the controls working. Oh, now we can carry on with the install. We've got our original unit of face shield taken out here. The yellow clips need to come off. Um, you can just obviously I'll pop a screwdriver under here and I flick them off just to make sure how you catch them, they don't go too far. And they clip on here. So one, two, three, four. So you can use the four clips on there. Then obviously this main like aircon unit has to come off and these two ribbon cables as well. On here you just got a, a tab at the top, you bend back and a tab on the side and then that like, pops off. And um, then you got this whole like, sort of board here. So obviously the our board's been like, like held and if you can see by these little tabs on either, on either side. Um, obviously the whole Obviously this whole thing can come out if you want to, that's just how it is by a couple of tabs on the side like that. So obviously we have the buttons here. But what we want to do is we just want to unplug this one. So what we want to do here is we just want to pull these out and trim to it if you like. And obviously you got the same at the other end down here. Preferably not to break the one, I just broke that one there so don't put too much of a force on it. Um, is it important so we don't actually need it anymore but and then you can see we're taking out this here and what we actually want out of here is just this, like a ribbon cable so we can pop that out I'll pop them open you'll see how that's just come open now and then once that's out just get out the ribbon cable a little tug and we do the same one for the other one here um, again you got your tab up the top tab down the bottom down the side the plastic part comes off again it's the same thing that makes it easier Like leverage on there, white piece there. There you go, it's come off again. Slide out that clip while I'm pulling a little black clip at the front here out, and then so you got the aircon down the bottom here. You got one, two, three clips on the top, three clips on the bottom, and you got a screw here that has to come off just like a Phillips screw. Then you just want to you can actually pop it out with like fingers and just put in a pop in the clips off one by one, um, and you'll see that it'll all just come out hopefully. screws out and that's like the, uh, the six like clips are out and this whole unit will like actually pull off um you will need to give it a bit of a pull like this end because this here at the front here you can see actually like goes through to the knob so just give that a bit of a pull it gently get a little tug and you'll find it will, it will uh, pop off and then we've got our whole panel here so again you can unplug this same method as so these are well, just the same as the other ones here, with the little uh, clips on them, so you can go through and pop them off. So now this is here, if you just press from the front, you'll see there's two little uh, clips at either end here, so obviously two on this end, that'll clip out, and two on the other end, they'll clip out, and the whole board will come out just like that. So pretty much, and your knob, you can see that's where we have to give a bit of a like, pull on the other end. So that's everything taken off, and just obviously our clips need to come off as well, um, again, like I said before, you can just get a screwdriver or one of your trim tools under these and pop these clips off like so. And they just slide onto the other one here. Clip them on. So go around and do that full four. So now you're just going to go and do everything basically like we just done in reverse. Um, slot your panel down into here. It's the same as the one you just took off, so it's got the clips in the end here. See, it'll just nicely clip in. That's fairly easy, like that. So once uh, that's down here, you'll see. Just trying to place this down. Um, two ribbon cables. They are both different like, sizes, so you can't go too wrong. So you just want to grab like, the ones that are coming from our head unit. You got two. Obviously, this one's the smaller one, so it's going to go over here. 
over this side and like tuck it in. Um, I preferably just, I like to like sort of tuck them in here and then plug it in and I, and I leave them under here because they're quite protected. And the same for like, the other side, you can like pop it in like where it's going to come through and I like, take it to the other side. So you just want to like, sort of make sure these are like, make sure these are protected and they don't get damaged. Um, so again, these things do come off the same. Pull, pull, pull the little connectors off and that pulls out. So this one obviously is not like that one, it's the bigger one. So we take the bigger one across. So when you think about it, you just think how this is gonna sit back down. So we want it to run in front of there. So, so we want it to run, it's gonna come up through here and run down here, so like that. Yeah, I'm just going to make sure the black bit is all pulled all the way out and slide it in with the blue at the top. Right, just give it a good push in. This becomes a bit of a pain holding this, just again, plug it off. So I should have done that from the start. So you'll feel that uh, clip in, and then you want to push the black clips back in. Just to hold it in there, and you can see that's in now. Again, on the other side, pull that those two black clips on the other side off. The old one comes off. This one's going to obviously run through here and all the way over. Again, I follow just like follow, follow uh, the old one, have blue on top. So it slides in, make sure your black clips are obviously up. And just push it in. And you'll feel it just sit into place. And then push your clips down. It's done. Now we can go and put this back on top. So obviously you plug it back in, push it in, push the black clips down, making sure, you can see this one start to pop out, making sure that your ribbon cables do not get jammed or caught anywhere. No, just go around and have a look, that they're all coming in where they're supposed to come in, out where they're supposed to come out. And again, making sure your tabs in the bottom on the outside. And just pushing this down into the clips, same way it sort of came out. Like so. So I'll see the clips on the top side as well. And now that's all in. There we have that. Obviously our knob needs to go back in the front. Just put it in where it can fit in. It can only fit where the keys are. Obviously you can let it fit. Now that's all done like that. And just don't forget the clips obviously. So next we're going to talk about the factory reverse camera here. So. We can keep this working and we can get it coming down to the head unit and the rear view mirror. Um, obviously when we're going to put it on our, this camera's however old now, the technology is pretty old, when we're going to put it on our big head unit it's going to look quite bad quality. So we will look at uh, bringing out an update that fits in here straight into here and hopefully hooks to the same plug, which will look allow you to have a 1080p camera which will look good in our screens. But what you need to do here is you need to just uh, like pop off the kick panel, so lift up this, unscrew that screw at the back here, and this other plastic uh, kick panel uh, will pull off. This is what the plug should look like here. Um, different years could be uh, different, but I think 2010 to 2014 is probably gonna have something like this. But anyway, on here you have, so basically as you look at it on the top row here, you wanna use, if you go like one, or if you use the big one as one here, two, three, like four. So pins, like the three and four, which is a red, 
and a white one. So you can see here, it is, I'll get these out of the way, these two. So like a white with a grey stripes and a red with grey stripes or grey dashes, so I should say. So hopefully you can see where they are going into there in the top. So we need to tap into the, like those two there with a, a positive and like a negative to like an RCA. I will include these fuse taps in the kit well, anyway. So the a fuse caps are pretty, they're pretty easy to slide the wire in and crimp them down with some pliers. Then on the bottom side of the plug you need a red with a yellow stripe one. So hopefully you can see that one here. So that's coming out of there. And you can see we've uh, tapped into there. So that's going to uh, give us the um, uh, these like the top two here are our like negative and positive for the video feed. And on the, and on the, and on the bottom one is a reverse trigger. So just uh, a 12 volt when you're in reverse. So we've just uh, tapped into, into those. We're just using an extension cable that comes with our, our reverse camera here. So obviously we've tapped into it here and then we've hooked into a yellow RCA here and then uh, these two wires here we have just put are you just like using a positive one on the other negative one is not not needed then if you come back up here you can see we've plugged the yellow RCA into our cam in which is the the gray plug down the end here and then the green one here just has to go to our uh, orange and black coming off of the main like, harness that does say reverse in on it. So that one there, these two will join together. And that gives us our reverse camera coming up. So just like I'll hook all that up, I power the unit up just like sit it here, like we have this one sitting here. I uh, put it like in reverse and just like, make sure you are getting the reverse feed coming in. And that's you got and that means you've got the reverse camera coming in on the screen and up in the head unit. Again, it's gonna be bad quality because the camera's 10 years old. Um, so we will look in the future, hopefully getting a 1080p camera that can fit in that same spot. Again, a, a cable here for the uh, reverse camera, if you just obviously like, pop off the glove box, just pull each like, side in, and you'll see these little uh, things pop down. You can just run a like, wire up, uh, up, uh, up low here, and I'll tuck it out the top here. Now it's going to cover the uh, like, uh, extra uh, cables you have to put in, so obviously we've got like, the main harness hooked up. Well, we put our reverse uh, camera in, and we've got that tap down into here. We've obviously I've got to run that up into here. Then you're going to have two USBs and external mic. Um, you don't have to run an external well, mic, you can just I don't know, leave it out, but it does come with one. That plugs into the auxiliary in the back there. Um, what we actually will do in the kit is we will include a USB plug to fit in here because you'll see like these ones are different sizes to like, to like this one. This here is the same size as that. A Prado, so we I will in, include a dual USB in here. So one side of them, I like just I plug into one of our ones here. So into like the Android Auto, uh, the Android Auto like label one here. Um, you can see here Android Auto, so it'll it'll, it'll just extend that and give like a tidy up uh, uh, sort of place I like to put it. And the other ones are a Quick Charge 3.0, so which is this little thing here. You want to get it at the front under the dash clear view of the sky no steel above it so you can actually put your hand all the way at the back and stick it upside down underneath the dash like that if, uh, the, this one doesn't have it but like some will have like a rectangle uh, like antenna which is like the wife antenna that can just float in the back here um, third USB is the purple one you can uh, obviously like plug it in if you're using one of our dash cams or we in this case here we're putting in a, um, a 4G modem so we're going to I put that in there and probably put a 4G modem up the top here again somewhere we saw like the GPS was so it gets a bit of a, a good a view of the sky so this customer also got a 4G dongle so obviously this top slides off the sim tucks in there um, so grab an extra sim put it on prepaid or just add a sim to your plan normally cost you five bucks a month obviously this here pops off we have like USB at the end you want this to sit probably up under the dash somewhere with a clear view of the windscreen, so of like the, of sort of the GPS. Um, it works like your phone, so if your phone gets reception in your car, this is going to get reception. Um, so in this day and age, they are always pretty good. Then what you want to do is you just want to ensure that head units on like the on the um, 
latest our latest like, update um, as we did release the first a new update then you can plug it into like, any of the USB ports so I'm just going to plug it into like, the extra one here um, which is the like, one that has a, has a pink pink dial on it so you just like, sort of, I'll, I'll plug that in so you just want to plug into like, the USB port here that says 3 4G USB plugged in solid green now and if you look in a head unit, you can see we've got 4G up here and some bars. Um, quick test you can do is you can just go into Chrome here as a browser um, and just don't have to sign in, but you can just type in some random things here and just go and search the internet. And you can see obviously that came up. And this is this internet, this uh, unit now has internet. So. That's a fine, so you still like, probably like mount that. I'm gonna just use some uh, double sided tape and I'll mount it up back here underneath the dash. So it'll end up sort of sitting under here. Basically, it's all wired up here now. Um, you don't have to go over the top of like taping, but just like tidy it up a bit because obviously, when all the sort of wires to sit and tuck down. Um, obviously, see in the back here, we've got our like, extra USB, which I've just actually like, taped up. We'll just like leave it around the back, or you can like drop it down somewhere so you can like, like access it like, easily like later on. Um, can be handy if you want to add one of our tire pressure uh, sort of like sensors as we bring them out or dash cams or whatnot. Um, our like main USBs here, so we've got two, like one I've just like obviously popped out down here. Hopefully in the future kits we'll have, have, have like a switch in there so that'll actually go into the panel. Uh, the other one's into the, into the glove box here that has the uh, 4G modem in it. It's just in there so that uh, obviously you can put like a sim card in it uh with reverse camera obviously this came from where you tapped into those like wires so that's into the purple cable here cam in and the green one goes into our, our orange and black one here with reverse in on it um obviously the fm is into our fm well that's pretty straightforward you'll be having like a couple left over which you won't like need um, just make sure you run obviously all, all your like wires above this, this, little, this little bracket here because obviously the head unit's going to sit in here. And that's basically everything. So, what we always like to do before we uh, put it in any further, turn the car on again. Obviously, like make sure you have, have reverse camera uh, steering wheel controls, which are steering wheel controls we covered quickly before, but what you want to do there is just want to go into all your apps scroll to you see steering wheel study and then you can like push them so i'll push volume down down the steering wheel and i'll choose volume down you can do it for long click as well but i won't do a long click uh then we'll do next i'll do back mode which will be on our one it'll be mode or you can set it up to do uh, different like, things if you want it's up to you um answer phone oh sorry it's on long answer phone onto answer phone hang up to hang up and just save and exit so let's study again so i could actually change this one if you scroll down you've got a few extra things here to app and i could actually choose speed players the app here and what that is going to actually do and then i could change long press to be home um what's going to happen there is if i push it's going to open up like sort of car play we're not connected to it at the moment, if I, look, if I uh, like long press it, it goes home. CarPlay, home. Um, and you can see our reverse images here and also up the top here. So that's all. Put on the unit like for like, obviously back in here. I'm making sure obviously the GPS antennas on, the Wi Fi antennas on, all our plugs are in. So we want all these like, radio plugs obviously to tuck into the uh, top spot up there and then obviously as you come in you're going to have to put your bottom plugs that you uh, obviously took out back in so you've got your big one on the side there 
I should just plug back in and again make sure you tuck all your wires in as you go in. Now, what I just want to do now is before we go any further is just turn it on and like obviously make sure all these buttons here are sort of doing something. So our hazards are working. Can't see there, but our hazards are working. Has a button. Um, obviously we've got our aircon, AC, internal air. Just make sure obviously all that is going on and working. So obviously those clips you took off the old one will go back in. And you just mount the unit in like that. There we go. Let me see what you got. Oh, these two in your camp on the bottom one. And then these can now go back on. Make sure they all line up. Make sure I can put them. Oh. Here. So there we have it, good job. It's your new head unit all installed and working. Um, probably takes, give yourself a couple of hours to do it. Wireless Apple CarPlay. Steering wheel controls. In fact, steering wheel controls will obviously work. Install whatever apps you want on here. Obviously, uh, it does come with some pre installed. AM FM radio. Factory reverse camera working. 